What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Me Views here. Back with another video, man. Back with another banger. Back to open the mind. You already know what time it is, man. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, share the video, comment down below, all that good stuff. Follow my socials right here, my TikTok and Instagram. I'll be active with my TikTok and Instagram to promote my YouTube. Posting some positive, inspiring TikToks, so go check those out. And um, yeah, we're not going to waste no time without further ado. Let's get right into the video. Oh, and I want to say appreciate you guys for the support as all. Thank you. Let's get right into the video. So today, what we, we're going to be talking about why everything is programming and you're just too blind to see it, man. And <clears throat> I can't really like blame you because maybe nobody's told you, hey, that's not that's not real ra reality. You know what I'm saying? But everything is programming down to the TV shows, the movies, the music we listen to. Right, the the stuff we see on social media, the news, the things that they do to certain celebrities and things like that, it's all programming. So I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of how it's programming and how you can start to open your mind. That's why I say that in every video because the only way you can you can get programmed, you can get trapped in a matrix, is if you're closed-minded. If you believe that everything that that they they show you on social media, everything they show you on the news, everything they show you in the movies and stuff is reality and some of the stuff that they show in the movies is the real reality but because it's a movie you're like oh that's not that's not really gonna happen right that's not really gonna happen so we're gonna, we're gonna dive deep into it we're gonna dive deep into it so let me give you guys a few examples for instance right let's go with the the jab if you guys know what the jab is you can't really say it on youtube but the jab you know what i'm saying for the 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 row row back in 2020 you guys know what it is right so a, a lot of people on social media I see, they're like, oh, it's really important to, to save lives and things like that, things of this nature, right? But people that take the, take that jab, right, a few weeks, a few months later, they start to have health implications, right? Heart problems, breathing problems, things like that. But I, but I thought it was supposed to save you. I thought it was supposed to protect you from, certain vi from that virus and protect you from you know, for being good. You're not supposed to have no side effects from that. It's a, it's a, you know what I'm saying? It's something to protect you, right? But if you bring that up to somebody that fully believes in the jab, oh, I'm, I'm getting my booster, 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 they're, they're not gonna really hear you. They don't want, they're not really understanding what you're saying why they, when you're telling them, hey, the jab isn't good for you, it's not healthy for you, it gives no benefits for you, right? Because they're already programmed. They're already programmed because when that first wave of those jabs came, they were the first ones to get them. They were the first ones to get them, and now they're already programmed to think this is this is it. This helps me. There's no side effects. Um, the people that does have do have health implications after they take the jab. Oh, that's just a coincidence, right? Right? And you're probably like, well, why why are they why are they thinking like that? If we have evidence of it not working, it being actually harmful to your body and not helpful. Amir, well, again, it's programming because, right, you see social media, people on social media tell you it's good, right? The government tells you it's good. The president tells you it's good. President, like, 70,000 years old. Bro, don't even know where he is half the time. But you're going to believe that? You're going to believe that, right? You're going to believe everything that the president says? Because, really, the president don't make the decisions. It's the, it's the people. It's the people behind the curtain. The president is just a puppet. President is just a puppet. The Matrix is, is controlling it, you know. But that that's for another video. We get we get real deep. I can get real deep into it. But man, don't believe everything you see because everything is programming. Everything, whether you believe it or not, is programming. Subconsciously, not even consciously, subconsciously is programming. So that's why when these jabs came out, me and my family, we already knew what it was, man. We already knew what it was because they've been playing in 2020 for years. They've been playing in 2020 for years, man. Right, it was for the, to, to lock the people up, to put these 5G towers out, right? And that's what's really making the people sick. You ever notice that you're getting sick more often? Cause all these 5G towers, y'all. And when you bring all these 5G towers to people, they're like, oh man, you just a conspiracy theorist. 5G towers. Oh man, I, I got I got high speed data on my phone. What are you talking about? <laughs> Program. Cause they believe that that the government is good for you. They believe that. Oh my God, the government's. It's, it's, it's borderline Jesus Christ. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. That's why we got to open the mind, y'all. Open the mind. Don't believe the first source you see. That's why you got to do some research. Do your own research on it. Even the doctors. 
even the doctor. The doctor, the doctor system is the most messed up place, right? It is, man. It, it, it's really sad. So be careful what you see when you see things like that. I'm talking about, I'm talking about um, real life stuff like the jab and stuff like that. Don't believe everything you see, man. Don't believe everything you see. Now let's get into the TV shows, the movies, right? So let's let's take the TV shows, the reality TV shows, right? They paint. They paint the, the black woman as this angry black woman, this ratchet black woman, right? This toxic black woman that's always want to argue and this, this, that, and a third, right? And they've been, they've been, that's been a, a stigma on the black woman, the angry black woman for decades. So back when my my mom was young, right? And why do you think that is? Because the black woman is the most powerful being in the world, the most powerful person in the world. It, 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 they bring life. Yes, other races of women can bring life into the world, of course. But it's something about that melanin. It's just, it's just special. It's pure. It's pure, right? So they try to paint them as a, as a, as a um, negative thing, this ratchet thing, right? Can't get along with them. And when these young ladies watch that, right, they see these, these, these black women acting crazy, throwing bottles, fighting each other, put, doing crazy type of things. Even in the movies, doing crazy type of things. And when these young ladies are watching them, they thinking, okay, that's the, subconsciously. They're not even consciously saying, okay, I'm gonna act like that when I get a boyfriend or when I get a husband. No, subconsciously, because they're watching it, they're consuming it, subconsciously, that's becoming their reality. And they're not sitting back like, hold up. Why, 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 why do they, why in most TV shows, most movies, they, they, they paint the black woman like this? Hmm? Why in most TV shows, most movies, they paint the black, the black man, the melanated man, as a cheater, a liar, this, this, that, and a third? Yes, there are cheaters and liars, of course, but that's the only thing that we, you know what I'm saying? Take the one of the most power, the most popular shows of the last decade, Power, right? Ghost, you guys don't know what Power is? Ghost, right? Main character. He he cheated on his wife, basically the whole series. And it, it, one of the most popular shows of the past 10 decades. Everybody watching that, right? Everybody watching that. So now subconsciously, the black guy, see, the black man is seeing that. He's like, mm, okay, cheating on his wife, so I'm gonna go cheat on my girl. Subconsciously, though. He probably like, bro, it don't got that big of an effect on you, but it does. It goes deep, man. It's all about the programming. It's all about the matrix keeping you in this one-minded mindset to keep you just in this trance. So when they're doing crazy things in the world, you you you're not even blinking an eye to it. You feel me? Same thing with the ladies. So now they see the, this guy cheating on his wife for a whole seat, a whole show, and they're like, oh, all black men cheat, all men cheat, this, this, that, and the third. Subconsciously, that's that's becoming a reality. That's why you see so many messed up relationships, so many toxic relationships, right? Relationships that don't stand on nothing because the shows that they're watching, the social media posts that they're interacting with. The, the people that they follow on social media, the celebrities that they idolize that are really just messed up people, man. They're pushing that agenda too. Don't think your favorite celebrity ain't put, pushing that agenda because most definitely they are. Take the Super Bowl, for example. Rihanna's performance. Everybody watch Rihanna. Oh my God, Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna. That was one of the most satanic halftime performances I've, I've seen watching the Super Bowl. And I love football. One of them. My first love, for real, for real. I love football. Y'all see all the trophies and stuff. I love football. Y'all see all the football jerseys. Y'all see all the football jerseys. I love football. That was one of the most satanic um, halftime performances. And there's been a bunch of satanic halftime performances, but that was really satanic. She had all red. You ever notice how all these celebrities, all these all these um, women celebrities, they're wearing all red now. They're dressing up as the devil. They're literally dressing up as Satan in front of your eyes. And and, and and when I look in the comments of these tweets, people are like, oh, it's just a costume. Y'all can't be for real. It's just a costume. Or people will be like, oh, y'all want to put religion in everything. Bro, they're literally dressing up as Satan, as a devil, as a demon. And y'all think that's cool? That's why I see, that's why I say this is a godless country, a godless world. Like what? I can't even say world because there's other there's there, there's outside the West there's there's world. I mean there's countries that still believe in you know God and things like that. But in the West, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. I mean you literally got Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Lil Nas X, Rihanna dressing in all red. You feel what I'm saying? Just doing satanic things, doing the doing the diamond, right? 
You know what I'm saying? Ha they be having horns and stuff. The costumes be crazy. And you know, people reaction is, oh, it's just a costume. It's all programming. It's all programming to get you in that demonic state. You know, you see everybody not saying that demon time, that demon time state. Because that keep you on a low vibration. And when they and when the matrix has the people on a low vibration, man, they can control them like a puppet. They can control them like a puppet. They don't want the people on a high level state because their mind is open. They see for what they see the lies for what they are. They see the programming happening and they can really tap into their, their spiritual side. They can tap in with God, protect them, protect themselves, their family, their friends, their loved ones, all that good stuff, and overcome that and live a great, prosperous, uh, a beautiful, prosperous life. But when I see that, when I, when I saw that halftime performance, I woke up, I, I fell asleep. I woke up and I'm like, oh, she ain't all red. This, 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 I'm already knowing it's satanic. I'm already knowing. And I see all these, they sexualizing these these female artists, um, these artists, my bad, sexualizing them, dressing them as that Satan, doing all this crazy stuff, having the crazy makeup. Doja Cat literally dressed up as the devil and people like, oh my gosh, she's so bad. It, 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 come on, man. It's right in front of your eyes. But y'all too, too blind to see it. That's what the title says. Y'all too blind to see it, man. That's when it comes to the artists and the, the music, right? I, don't get me wrong. I love my rap music. I love my young boy and, and future and all this type of stuff, right? But I'm, I'm getting more on my Sade, right? I'm getting more on my Lauryn Hill, right? Get more on my classic stuff because that still has that purity, right? That still has that purity to it. I can't really listen to rap music, sex, money, drugs, 24-7 a day. Because it, it, do, it do something to me. It really does. It really does. That's why I'm really starting to tap into more of my Sade and things like that, man. Because it really calms the soul. It really touches the soul in a, in a positive way, not in a negative way. That's the music. That's the TV, the celebrities, the government with the jab. All this stuff is programming, y'all. And I see so many people that are in the program they think that's the reality when it's not man it's not and it's and it's sad but we gonna get through you just gotta start to open the mind because when your mind is closed you think when you see rihanna dress up, dress up in all red when you see doja cat dress up, dress up as a devil y'all think that's cool oh it's just a costume it's a devil ooh, 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 ooh. come on man this this stuff is real this this is real man it get it get real it get real out here it get real out here so be careful what you hear, be careful what you see, be careful what you say. Y'all know that, y'all know that that old saying with the monkeys and stuff. Be careful what you be careful of those three things, big, because this programming is real. This agenda that they're pushing is real. I didn't even touch on the other stuff because that's a sensitive topic, but it gets deep, man. It really gets deep. But that's all I got for you guys today, man. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Follow my socials right here on the screen. Stay disciplined or you will be disciplined. And really just start to look at things for in a, in a different view. Don't look at it as, oh, this is reality. You know what I'm saying? Look at it deeper into it. Look deeper into it. Do your own research to think. Because everything that they show you is not what it seems, man. And sometimes it is. Sometimes it's right in front of your face. Like the like the, the celebrities dressing up as, as devils and stuff like that. It's right in front of your face. And sometimes they sneak it in a little bit. And the food you eat. Everything is programming, y'all. Everything is programmed. But uh, we got this, man. We're going to fight through. We got this. We got this. Just keep opening the mind. Stay positive. Stay disciplined or you will be disciplined. Amir Bruce is out. Peace.